Hello guys, welcome back to round number two in House of Rogue Gaming. Today we have um, a very interesting deck. We have Victini VMAX versus uh, Cremorant VMAX. Very good, very good. Uh, deck, and dick, uh, deck indeed. I think it's very underrated, but it's pretty good. You hit hard and it's a force to be reckoned with. Let's see, but let's see how how it really performs right here in this matchup here against my opponent. Um, we're setting up, getting the prices ready and everything, all nice and dandy. There it is. Um, then off we go. My opponent is going uh, first. We're just, I think it's. Um, I think we're waiting for the. There it is. Off we go. Uh, my opponent's gonna play that uh, Evo Incense. He's probably gonna get that uh, Porygon. Uh, I think it is. He shows. Yeah, he got the Porygon. Very nice and dandy. Let's see what else our opponent will be playing. The looking dangerous. And then will my opponent attach energy per turn? Because he definitely needs it in this scenario in order to power that up. But he's going to do Pokemon communication, put him back then Denny into the deck. Um he was gonna shuffle there. I think he will, he didn't want to search nothing, but then uh, he's going back in, taking a look at his deck, see what he ha has price or not. And there it is, a second Cremoran hits the bench. He did that uh, because I think he has a Crobat uh, in hand. Probably doesn't. Uh, he says he already has that Porygon in hand. He does not want to get rid of it, uh, so he benches the uh, Cremoran that he searched for. And does he have energy per turn? Nope, there is Crobat for one, two, and three. Crobat for three. Let's see what else. What else sparks out of it? And there it is! A tough energy and my opponent passes. And let's see what let's see what type of big play. Here we do we bench over there the teen EV. Does do we have energy attachment per turn on that volcano to use flare start? Nope. Uh, not yet, not yet. But instead we're gonna do a charge ball, searching our deck, taking a look at it, see what has price, see what we don't. And there it is. Taking away that um Richie's are in this matchup we don't actually need it. Um because we want to attack with the Dini VMAX uh, because it has more HP uh, and then we're going to be playing Pokemon Communication, putting the Dini VMAX back in the deck uh, and getting Dendene so that way we play Dendene and discard the Charizard because like I said we do not need it we do not need it and hopefully we can find an energy uh, there Is Oops. and ah, Benjamin Mewtwo. I decided to play it. Wow, <laughs> but look at that! Oh, clunky hand with no energies. Discarding two good cards, two Charizards, one Richie's art, one Charizard. Uh, so that way, we have Mewtwo uh, power up. We have Bench Barrier because. Why not? And then there it is the energy per turn into the uh, Volcania, but do we have a welder to speed and accelerate uh, even more energies? We're going to discard that uh, fishing rod, uh, getting ourselves two more energies. And then, no, we're not going to be playing welder. Uh, in fact, we're going to be doing flare starter, getting those uh, three energies in hand. 
uh, not not again. We're gonna attach them probably into the Victini and Mewtwo. Uh, so that way we have uh, we both uh, powered them up. There it is. One into the Mewtwo, two into the Victini, and pass to my opponent. My opponent draws. <coughs> And I forgot to tell you guys, this uh, this tournament is best of one. It's not like versus that we have to play uh, best of three, where it uh, takes a little bit more time. Um, but yeah, let's see what else our opponent. Uh, well, he doesn't. He looks like he's a little bit stuck there in the brick zone, trying to find. He's going to do peak B catch. Uh, probably gonna get that rare candy to evolve that Porygon, and. Probably another supporter or something. Um, but yeah, we he gets the he for sure is gonna get that rare candy because he needed it, and probably he's gonna get that um, Dendene or supporter. Uh, we don't know yet, but we will figure that out uh, once we pass. <laughs> and we drop our turn. Let's see what we have. Evolve into the Victinity. Max, uh, do we have a switch to put pressure into my opponent? No, but then I pay the retreat cost and swing for the knockout for 220, taking those two first prices. Beautiful. Then we have letting, letting my opponent know that I have five cards in hand, and uh, voila, see how, how this Kremer and VMAX performs. There it is. The uh, Kremerid VMAX hits the field. And Rare Candy into the Porygon. And Recycle Energy into the Active. Triple Energy into the Active again. Uh, I think he will be flipping four coins um, in order to do more damage and then he's going to do research discarding escape rope and some other card i didn't quite see it uh but now we see that my opponent has a a uh powerful energy doing 20 more damage on top of anything else that he rolls there it is and he's going to uh, he's accelerating the those all all of those five energies into uh, with the porygon Quick bolt, discarding the Skyla. Probably gonna get the Dendene. It will show us right now. Don't worry. He's also a new player that is coming uh, on Thursdays and Friday. And actually, I forgot to let him know that I was not going to the tournament today. <laughs> but there it is. A Victini, uh, a Cremorant hits the field. Uh, What's the name of that stadium? Uh, something about Tango. That thing allows him to, uh, if he flips tails, he can reflip it. Uh, but now he's going to see if he, uh, he's going to flip five, getting first tail, heads, heads, tails. And I think he got heads, but he wants to re uh, flip them again. That's the first tail, uh, second tails, third tail, fourth. Oh no, not looking good within every single attack. I would have gone for the first uh, flip, to be honest. I'm recording, give me a second. Uh, going for the first flip because as you can see, uh, it, it did not work. And I think I forgot to tell my opponent that that um, triple acceleration energy goes to the discard pile once it's used. I think I let him know uh, just in a bit, I think. But again, I think uh, we got uh, boss's order for the po with the Poke Gear trying to probably target that. Uh, Robot at the bench or that second uh, Kremerin so we can get two easy prices off, off of it. And uh, there it is, uh, of course. 
but yeah, I think I forgot to let my opponent know. Uh, I'm going to get him uh, and knock it out. There it is. He he noticed. Uh, take out two more prices and back to my opponent. Now my opponent has two energies in play. Let's see. He can get more. There it is. Uh, Skyla and uh, something else like an item. He discarded, getting a, a second powerful energy and another stadium. It looks like it. Um, but yeah, I think he, he will. That's the best option. Yeah, there it is. Another powerful energy in place. And he's just going to attack, flipping three coins. Let's see, he's going to get one head. Uh, two, he got two. And he got three heads. Three heads doing. Um, I really do not know. But he's dealing uh, quite a lot of damage. Plus, the powerful energies do 20 more extra. So that's very, very bad. Uh, actually, doing 280. And there it is. Uh, boss for a game. Taking the knockout there and taking my loot. My last two prices and GG's. That will be it for the game, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Um, let's see if I can uh, stay tuned. Sorry, stay tuned for the uh, third episode. And don't forget to leave a, a like. That will help me a lot. And it's a small click, but it's big for me. <laughs> Give me more motivation uh, in the long run. But see you guys in the next one. And peace out.